Walking is the best possible exercise. Habituate yourself to walk very far. That's by Thomas Jefferson. Now, consistency is the theme of this episode of Walking for Health and Fitness. Specifically, how we can develop the habit of getting out the door every day to enjoy the benefits of a daily walk and why you should do that. Now, before I even talk about the benefits of a daily walk, I want to take a step back and talk about why doing anything on a consistent basis is important. Now, from my Walking for Health and Fitness website's homepage, I write, The Walking for Health and Fitness goals are to assist you in developing a consistent routine in preparing to walk, developing good fitness routine habits, develop a clear mindset for creativity and problem solving, and enjoying the walking lifestyle. So, continue listening to this episode as I cover five advantages of maintaining consistency when walking and in your everyday activities. The benefits of walking for just 30 minutes a day, ideas to get in more walking time, how to determine intensity, and I'll discuss the talk test. There will be 13 benefits of walking every day, and I'll also talk about my weekly insights from my walking logbook journal, The Importance of Self-Care. So as we continue through this episode, remember that quote by Thomas Jefferson throughout the episode, and that is, walking is the best possible exercise. Habituate yourself to walk very far. My goal is to get you there. Caution, the information contained in this podcast may cause you to feel better than you have ever felt in your entire life. Symptoms include a broader smile, happier disposition, brighter outlook on life, and a general feeling of bliss. Proceed with wild abandon. Hello, I'm Frank Ring, the author of the Amazon bestseller, Walking for Health and Fitness, the easiest way to get in shape and stay in shape. I discovered the healing power of walking after a severe back injury put me out of work for four months and literally left me on my back trying to relieve the pain and heal. Through my books, website, YouTube videos, walking programs, and now this podcast, it's my mission to help others achieve a healthy, balanced lifestyle one step at a time through walking. Join me each episode as I discuss the physical and emotional benefits of walking along with information about fitness, mindset, nutrition, wellness, and more. So join me each week as I encourage you to walk on. So why is being consistent in walking or doing any activity every day so important? Well, consistency in performing a task can bring about many benefits. Now, before I get to the benefits of walking every day, let's start with why it's important to be consistent. Now, whether it's walking or anything you do in life, there is a big payoff if you do it on an ongoing, consistent basis. So here are five advantages of maintaining consistency when walking and in your everyday activities. And number one, there's skill development. Now, consistently practicing a task allows you to hone your skills and improve your competence over time. I find that if I haven't gotten out for a walk for a few days, I feel awkward and stiff when I get back to it. It's like my muscles and joints just need to loosen up um, like the Tin Man in The Wizard of Oz. Now, when I'm walking consistently every day, I'm immediately in the groove and my walking motion is fluid and smooth. By engaging in regular practice, you reinforce your knowledge, enhance your muscle memory, and become more proficient in executing the task, okay? So consistency creates a solid foundation for skill development and helps you reach a higher level of expertise. Now, number two, increased efficiency. Now, regularly performing a task leads to increased efficiency and productivity. Walking every day forces you to create a routine to get out the door quickly and easily. Now, as you become familiar with the process and develop a routine, you can identify areas for improvement, optimize your workflow, and find ways to complete the task more quickly and effectively. Consistency allows you to streamline your efforts, saving time and energy in the long run or in the long walk in this case. Number three, building habits. Consistency is key to forming and reinforcing positive habits. By consistently engaging in a task, you train your brain to associate that activity with a particular cue or trigger. Now, over time, the behavior becomes automatic and requires less conscious effort. Now, consistency helps transform the task into a habit, making it easier to maintain and integrate into your daily routine. Now think about the get out the door routine you learned about in episode one of this podcast. Now number four, it's a long-term process. Consistency plays a crucial role in achieving long-term goal. When you consistently work on a task, even in small increments, you accumulate progress over time. 
Each step forward, no matter how small, contributes to the overall advancement. Now, when I was doing my virtual walk around the United States, getting out the door every day helped me make constant progress. I love watching my mileage numbers increase over time. Now, I'll leave a link in the show notes so you can read about the walk I completed in 2020 and how the end was such a letdown. Uh, I had started this walk in actually as a run in 2004. In a future episode, I will get more into the importance of that uh, huge undertaking I did. Uh, but read about it, and I'll leave a link in the show notes. Now, consistency helps you stay on track, maintain momentum, and steadily move towards your desired outcomes. The key word here is momentum. When I was doing market research for my complete walking program, all of my interviewees said that they needed help developing self-discipline and how to hold themselves accountable when they stopped exercising for a day or two. They wanted to learn how to stop two days of no walking or exercising from turning into two weeks of doing nothing. Now, in my program, I help you develop the habit of getting out the door, which will lead to long-term progress. Now, number five on this list is personal growth and discipline. Consistency fosters personal growth and discipline. By committing to a task and sticking with it consistently, you demonstrate self-discipline, resilience, and determination. Overcoming challenges and staying motivated through regular practice cultivates a sense of achievement. It boosts self-confidence and instills a growth mindset. Consistency becomes a character-building trait that extends beyond the task at hand, which is walking. Now, please keep in mind that consistency is not just about the frequency of the task. It also involves maintaining a high level of quality and commitment throughout. Now, your daily walk doesn't have to be epic. A simple 30-minute walk provides awesome benefits, and let's talk about those benefits right now. Walking as little as 30 minutes a day at a comfortable pace has been shown to reduce the risk of heart disease, increase stamina, improve overall health, reduce stress, and improve self-esteem and mood. Now, I call these easy walks pleasure walking, and they have great benefits, so don't miss out on them. Now, when you are pleasure walking, you're generally walking a mile It'll take you between uh, 17 and 24 minutes. Uh, Pleasure walking is a good beginner level, which will build stamina and strength. The focus of this level is your long-term health and improved quality of life and enjoying the walk. Now, how much should you walk each day? Well, while I just went over the benefits of a 30-minute walk, I say the key is to focus on consistency rather than intensity, so that's pleasure walking, and I recommend 30 to 60 minutes per day walking most days of the week. Now, you don't have to do the walks all at one time. Several mini walks of 10 minutes or more are just as effective as one long walk. And I'll get into ways to get in more walking time in a moment. Now, as you listen to these episodes of the Walking for Health and Fitness podcast, I hope you notice that I begin each episode with a quote that relates to the theme of the show. Now, this week's quote, uh, walking is the best possible exercise, habituate yourself to walk very far. It's Thomas Jefferson reflects on the need to make walking a habit. I pulled this quote from my third book, Walking Inspiration, a 12-month plan to inspire your health and fitness with 365 inspirational quotes and more. Now, it's from this quote is from the March 4th entry, and the main theme of the month of March is all about the benefits of walking. Now, a little history behind the release of this book. Now, I was looking to create just a simple quote book and sell it on Amazon. I figured if I put together a daily quote book, I could sell it for like 99 cents and use it as promotional tools for my website. Now, after putting the quote book together, I realized that I didn't like it. It was just a book of quotes that I found on the internet. Big deal. Anybody could do that. I decided to make my book something more than that. So I came up with the idea of teaching a lesson each month. Now, for instance, to give you an example, January is what's your why? February is about setting goals. March is the benefits of walking. And I continued through the calendar year. Now, each month's lessons gives you action steps to take to improve your overall health and fitness. I give you the mid-month point to ponder and I finish the month with your next step. This is how you can apply the month's lessons. Then each day, there is the quote of the day. So it keeps you motivated throughout the month. Now, you can click on the link in the description and the show notes and download the January chapter of Walking Inspiration. Then make your next walk your best walk. So try the book out, just the first chapter, see how you like it, get that for free, and then we'll take it from there. Now, the book comes with over $100 in bonus content, including the audiobook version you can listen to on your walks, 
There's a printable inspirational quotes. It's a PDF file. It's, there's the What's My Why worksheet, body weight exercise guide, my quarterly newsletter, uh, the Get Out the Door checklist, and access to the book's resource page. So there's a lot going on. So check out that free download of Walking Inspiration. Now here are some ideas to get in more walking time. Walk in the morning, walk at lunchtime, walk at dinner time for at least 10 minutes or more. Walk to a local destination instead of driving. Park your car a few blocks from your job or other destination. Go window shopping at the mall. Keep a log of your walking miles and time to use as a motivational tool. And schedule a 20 to 30 minute session on a treadmill if you have access to one. Now, if you really look at what you do each day, you'll begin to find so many opportunities to get in more walking time. Now, how to determine your walking intensity. Now, in my first book, Walking for Health and Fitness, I came up with three levels of walking. Now, level number one, I called it pleasure walking. It's also described as casual walking as if you were walking through a park or a mall. Now, I call it pleasure walking because it is what you routinely do every day. This is the everyday type of walking. Now, you may be asking if this type of walking is of any benefit at all, and the answer is a resounding yes. Now, remember, my goal here is to get you out and walking. We don't need to know those numbers in order to enjoy walking, but knowledge is power. So with that said, let's see how you can measure your intensity. Now, this is the rate of a, a perceived exertion. It's how you feel if you're exerting yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. Now, think about 1 as sitting on the couch, and think about 10 as walking uphill as fast as you can for an hour. Now, that's an exaggeration, but you get the point. Pleasure walking should feel like a 3 to 5 on the scale. Now, only you can determine your rate of perceived exertion. Now, when pleasure walking, it's important to count the miles or the minutes walked rather than the intensity of the walk, okay? So the talk test. An excellent gauge of walking intensity is how difficult it is to carry on a conversation. Now, when you're pleasure walking, you should be able to carry on a reasonable conversation. Now, level two is what I call fitness walking. Then that's walking at a pace where talking to someone is labored. Fitness walking is the perfect low-impact way to get fit and stay fit. Because fitness walking is so low-impact on your body, there is little risk of injury. Now, to determine your intensity. Intensity is a major factor in fitness walking. Now, you will track your intensity via the perceived exertion. Now, you want to aim for a 6 to 7 on the scale. Again, this is your perceived exertion, so only you can determine this. The talk test Speaking out loud should be an effort. You can only speak in short sentences. Now, if you can carry on a full conversation, pick up the pace to get into that fitness walking zone. And if you can't speak at all, then slow it down a little bit. Now, level three is high intensity walking. Now, in a word, this is fast. High intensity walking takes fitness walking to the next level. It incorporates all the benefits of fitness walking and supercharges the number of calories you burn. You will be pumping your arms more, exaggerating the hip swing, and your walking form will be as if you're on a high wire. Talking during high intensity will be severely limited. Now, characteristics of high intensity walking, you're walking at a much faster pace, talking is difficult. And you can cover a mile between 12 and 14 minutes, which is really fast. That's uh, over four miles an hour if you do that. Uh, determining intensity. Intensity is the major factor for fitness walking. Okay, You will track intensity via the perceived exertion and aim for a 8 to 10 on the scale. Again, this is your perceived exertion. The talk test, you should barely be able to speak. If you can make small talk, pick up the pace. If you can't speak at all, slow it down. Now, this type of walking, this um, high-intensity walking, I do this very, very seldom. Um, I like my walking to be in a, in a place where I'm feeling, I'm getting in shape, okay? I'm feeling fit. Um, I'm more in that uh, second range, that fitness walking, okay? And the high-intensity walking, I find that it takes away from the mindset benefits that I have. Uh, I've done high-intensity walking with the metronome. It's great workout, but uh, I enjoy it less, much less than my normal, what I would say my normal fitness walking. Again, try it out once in a while, see how you feel. So let's get into the title of this episode, which is the 13 benefits of walking every day. Everything before this kind of was a precursor to this. Walking every day offers a range of benefits for both the physical and mental well-being. 
So if you're sitting on the couch or driving in your car and are looking for a reason to get out the door, you should find several of them from this list that will resonate with you. Now, number one, improved cardiovascular health. Regular walking strengthens your heart and improves circulation. It can help reduce the risk of heart disease, lower blood pressure, and improve overall cardiovascular fitness. Number two benefit, weight management. Walking is a low-impact exercise that burns calories and contributes to weight management. It can help you maintain a healthy weight or support weight loss when combined with a balanced diet. Since I started walking as my regular exercise of choice several years ago, I've stayed within five pounds of my ideal weight. I eat what I want to, within moderation, and I don't worry about weight gain. Benefit number three, enhanced mood and mental well-being. Walking releases endorphins, which are natural mood boosters. It can reduce stress, anxiety, and symptoms of depression. Spending time outdoors while walking also allows for fresh air and exposure to nature, further enhancing mental well-being. Now, when I began walking after my back injury, the mindset benefits are what surprised me the most. I came back from every walk refreshed physically and mentally, and it's uh, really truly a natural high. Benefit number four, increased energy levels. Engaging in regular walking can boost energy levels and combat feelings of fatigue. Walking promotes oxygen flow and circulation, delivering nutrients and oxygen to the muscles and tissues, ultimately leaving you feeling more energized. Okay, so when you're tired and think, I really don't have, the, have it in me to get out there, get out there because that is what is what will energize you. Number five, stronger muscles and bones. Walking is a weight-bearing exercise that helps strengthen and tone muscles, particularly in the lower body. It also aids in improving bone density, reducing the risk of osteoporosis and fractures. When you perform body weight exercises during your walk, you supercharge the effects of both to strengthen muscle and bones. Now, if you're looking for a program to help you build muscle, then take a look at my fitness walking exercise program. I'll leave a link in the show notes. Number six, improved joint health and flexibility. Walking helps lubricate the joints, reducing stiffness and promoting better joint mobility. It can be a gentle exercise option for individuals with arthritis or joint pain. Benefit number seven, improved digestion and metabolism. Walking can aid in digestion by stimulating intestinal muscles and promoting bowel regularity. It also helps optimize your metabolic rate, contributing to better nutrient absorption and overall digestive health. Number eight, enhanced immune function. Regular exercise, including walking, has been linked to a stronger immune system. Walking helps increase the circulation of immune cells, making you more resilient to illness. Number nine, better sleep. Walking can contribute to improved sleep quality. It can help regulate sleep patterns, reduce insomnia, and promote a deeper, more restful sleep. Number 10, longevity. Studies have shown that regular walking is associated with increased longevity. It's a simple and accessible form of exercise that can help improve overall health and extend life expectancy. Studies have shown that older person's mobility has a direct impact on life expectancy. Number 11, enhance creativity and productivity. Taking a break from sedentary activities and going for a walk can boost creativity and improve cognitive function. It allows your mind to wander and help alleviate mental blocks, leading to increased productivity and focus when you return to your tasks. Now, in episode one of the Walking for Health and Fitness podcast, I talked about how on my long walks, I plan what I call my mid-walk turnaround. I stop at a coffee shop, pull out a pen and paper, and write out all the ideas that came to me during the walk. This process has been a highlight of my long walks, and check out that first episode for my story on how walking helps me be more creative. Now, benefit number 12, social interaction and connection. Walking provides an opportunity for socializing and connecting with others. You can go for a walk with friends, family, or join walking groups in your community, fostering social bonds and a sense of belonging. And number 13, it's accessible and cost-effective. Walking is a simple and accessible form of exercise that doesn't require any special equipment or gym membership. You can walk almost anywhere, making it a cost-effective way to stay active and improve your health. Now, those are the 13 benefits of walking every day. I hope many resonate with you and help you get out the door and on to a great walking adventure. 
Now in keeping with the theme of consistency, I need to tell you about the Juice Plus Company and their line of plant-based nutrition. I was introduced to the Juice Plus Company by a reader of my walking books. Now Daryl sent me a very nice email that he bought my walking uh, logbook journal, that was my fourth book, and in his signature line in the email was a link to his Juice Plus website. I clicked the link and found the information about the company and their products interesting. After reaching out to Daryl, I made my first purchase of their plant-based powdered capsules. In a short period of time, I was able to rid my cabinet of so many of the vitamin supplements because Juice Plus is packed with powerful plant-based powders. Instead of taking a handful of supplements, I now take two each of the omegas, the greens, the berries, and the fruit capsules. That's it, just eight capsules a day compared to the dozens of various supplements I was taking before speaking with and now working with Daryl. Now, the benefits of Juice Plus plant-based products are they're fresh from the farm, they're picked at the peak ripeness and flash frozen to lock in maximum nutrition with every ingredient. They're relentlessly researched. Over 40 published peer-reviewed scientific papers confirm Juice Plus capsules work. The proven health benefits, they're clinically proven to support your heart, lungs, gut, skin, and more, and they're for your whole family. Their products make it easy for everyone to get more nutrition from fruits and vegetables, even your picky eaters. Now, the company was founded in 1970 by a school teacher turned entrepreneur, Jay Martin. The Juice Plus company has been driven by the same goal since day one, to inspire healthy living around the world. Now, the link to the Juice Plus website is in my show notes. Give Juice Plus a try and feel the difference it'll make in your life. They've worked for me and I know they will work for you. Now also read my blog post, The Power of Plant-Based Nutrition, 10 Reasons to Make the Switch. Now in a future podcast episode, I'll be talking about this topic. So in the meantime, check out the blog post. I'll leave a link to my website in the show notes. And if you have any questions about Juice Plus supplements, you can contact me directly. That's frank at walkingforhealthandfitness.com. And in the walking product of the week, it's my pleasure walking exercise program. You can walk your way to great health and fitness in just 30 minutes and 52 seconds a day. Now, if you're struggling to get in shape this season, I have an exciting story to share. Let me tell you that I was just like you and needed a solution to my inactivity. Specifically, I needed to find a way to get in shape without re-injuring my body. Now, over seven years ago, life threw me for a loop. I severely injured my back and was out of work for four months. Also, my mom was in the final months of her losing battle with pancreatic cancer at that same time. Now, after her death, I needed to clear my head and get my body back in shape. Now, I was injured physically and emotionally. I was an athlete my whole life, and specifically, I was a runner in the middle of an epic virtual run around the United States. Injury and grief led me to being unmotivated. Now, several months after my mom's death and the end of my back pain, I didn't have the motivation to get in shape. Quite frankly, I lacked desire and I was afraid to get hurt again. So I found a way to save time, save money and enjoy the walk. I named it the Pleasure Walking Exercise Program because it's a pleasure to do. When I was a runner, I was concerned with just getting from point A to point B in a set amount of time. I was consistently racing to stay on pace or beat my previous time. Now, even on easy training days, when I didn't time myself, the physical exertion involved in running never allowed my mind a, a sense of peace. All that huffing and puffing, it made it impossible to let my mind wander, to plan, to think things through, to daydream, etc. That's when I fell in love with walking. The sense of inner peace and calm that came from those walks dramatically changed my life. Now, the Pleasure Walking Exercise Program is it, pretty unique and you'll be walking as you listen to the program. Now, right now, the program has six audio files. It's the introduction to pleasure walking, where I describe it. There's the warm-up, where I take you through some exercises that'll get your body loose. There's the pleasure walking session one with affirmations and positive messages as you walk. Then there's the pleasure walking session two, with is only just the music. There is the cool down. And then there is the thank you from me. Uh, it also includes a PDF file. It's a 55-page program book where you could read more about the program and the exercises within it, and also topics within the program, how to get the most out of it, the get-out-the-door checklist, things to do on the road, staying safe on the road, taking more steps, and why affirmations work. 
So read more information in the, uh, there's a link in the description. Check the page out. Try it out for yourself. Guaranteed this will really uh, make walking such a benefit to you. And this episode's health and fitness insight. Now, this comes from my walking logbook journal. Now, this insight is in keeping with why I take the Juice Plus products, and it's the importance of self-care. Regularly hit the pause button and give your mind a chance to process all you've experienced. Make it a daily priority to make time for yourself to sit quietly, breathe, and reconnect. Solitude gives us room to think, dream, nourish, and restore ourselves. It increases our self-connection, reconfirm your goals and vision, build mental resilience, boost creativity, increase productivity, and gain perspective. Now, during this reset, breathe in through your nose for a count of four, feel your lungs inflate as your belly expands and your chest rises. Hold for a count of two, then exhale through your mouth for a count of six. Okay, so you can also download a a three-week sample of my book and get the bonus content Uh, I'll leave a link in the show notes for you to check out the sample of this book before you purchase it. And we'll end this episode with uh, a summary. I'll I'll call this a cool down. And walking is the best possible exercise. Habituate yourself to walk very far. That's by Thomas Jefferson. That's the quote of the episode. Now, I went over the five advantages of maintaining consistency when walking in your everyday activities. I have the benefits of walking just 30 minutes a day, ideas to get in more walking time, how to determine intensity, I discussed the talk test, I have the 13 benefits of walking every day, and my weekly insight was from my walking logbook journal, and it's the importance of self-care, starting out with checking out the uh, Juice Plus company and their fantastic plant-based nutritional products. Now, your next step, get out the door and apply what you learned today. Download my book samples and find out how to get the audiobook versions. And listen to the next episode of Walking for Health and Fitness as we explore the question of why, as in, why are you walking? And this may be the most important question you'll ever ask yourself. This is Frank from Walking for Health and Fitness. Thank you for listening and walk on. And please give the Walking for Health and Fitness podcast a review. The most helpful place for you to do that is on Apple Podcasts, which you can do even if you aren't using an iPhone. Just log into your iTunes account and leave the show a review. Now, this really helps more people find the show so that they can learn about the benefits of walking and so much more. If you'd like to share the show, you can take a screenshot of this episode you're listening to right now and share it out on your Instagram stories. And when you do, make sure you tag me at Walking for Health and Fitness so I can see you're listening. Sharing your stories is going to help more people find this podcast. Also, share on all your social media. I'll leave my social media links in the episode notes. This is Frank Ring from Walking for Health and Fitness. Thanks again and walk on.